Good morning, students. Welcome to all to the first class of standard set. So today we are going to start our first lesson of math market, knowing our numbers. So in our day to day life, we come across many situations in which we have to describe how much. Suppose one example given on the school is the number of students in a class. It is probably good. So what will be the price of a car? It can be around 30 lakhs. The number of hair strands in one's head. Approx 1 lakh. And when we will be asking how many numbers of human beings are there in the world on earth, it is a very large number. So students, it means that the number can begin from a single digit and go to the separate digit. It maybe it can go to infinity as well. So in this lesson, we are going to deal with large numbers because about smaller numbers we have already read in the previous chapters, previous classes. We will learn the two ways in which numbers are counted. So let's begin. So what is the difference between a number and a digit? The digits are only 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8, 8 and 9. These all are digits. But when these digits combine together, they form number. Combination of digits forms a number. As 4, 9, 5, 1, those all are separately digits. But when we have combined 5 and 6 together, they are a number now, and that number is spelled out as 56. Now, what are numerals? Think about it. The numerals are the symbols for numbers. Numerals are the symbols for numbers. Numeral means number with its symbol is called numeral. Example. Numeral for 654 is 654. It means the way we write the number, it is called as numeral comma. Just I'm looking in number so, it's just a little bit, just a symbolic form, they pay those all the numbers. So now we are going to read Indian number system of numeration. Uh, the chart it is before you on the screen. It is starting from ones, tens, hundreds, thousands, ten thousands, lakh, ten lakh, crores, and ten crores. So here we will start counting from the rightmost. Up the right hand side is counting something. The very first is it. We will be going to the 1's place, and 7 will go at 10's place, 2 will be having 100 place, 5 will be having 1000, and so on. So we are going to read it as 78, 78 lakh 65,279. Another, so we are going to read it out. 57 crore 72 lakh 90,620 lakh. Last one you are going to read out on your own. Now see how we can write it. So what will be expanded form? 7 is having how much value? It is having 10 lakhs. It means 7 will be multiplied by 10 lakhs. Plus 8 will be multiplied with lakh, 1 lakh, and so on. The other examples are given. 
can copy it down. Now we are going to teach international number system of numerics. In that, it was once tens, hundred, thousand, ten thousand, lakh, ten lakh, karo, ten. See what are the formats given over here. Here it is starting for the ones. Tens, hundred, thousand. Then it will be. Ten thousand, and after that it won't be lakh. Nah, it will be hundred thousand. Then million, ten million, hundred. Then billion, ten billion, then hundred billion. So, on. so what is the difference? Till ten thousand, till ten thousand it is same, but after ten thousand it is hundred thousand. The numbers are given here, and the same way you are going to place it from the rightmost, shifting toward left. Questions are done here for you. So see, the first one was he was having what value? He was having hundred million value. So three is multiplied here with hundred million. What four was having value? Four was having ten million. Seven was having million. Eight was having hundred thousand. Six multiplied. Eight Use of commas in international number system of numeration. The commas are put starting from the right after every first three digits. Ah, uh, it means that after hundred place, then again after the third place after hundred place. So from the right, starting start counting from the very right and put the commas after three count. For example, it's given over here nine seven two then comma five six eight then comma seven four three then comma. We will read from the right. We will count from the right, and we will put the comma. Now we are going to read this number three hundred forty seven million eight hundred sixty five thousand two hundred seventy nine. Another question is also done for you. Again, after every three digits from the right, the commas are being given. Now, the comparison between Indian number system and uh, international number system is also on your screen. First, ones, ones. Common in both tens, tens. Common in both hundred, hundred. Common in both. But coming to thousand again, it is common. Ten thousand. Common. The change start from lakh. In Indian number system, it's lakhs. Whereas in international number system, it's hundred thousands. In Indian number system, it's ten lakhs. Then in international, it's millions. Crore, ten millions. Ten crores, hundred millions, Arab billions. So you do have to learn this comparison of Indian number system with international number system. The number of zeros also. Now, uh, while writing, also we are going to do the comparison. In Indian number system, first count from third. Uh, Third count from right hand side. Suppose C. If only three digits are there, we are not going to put any commas. But more than three digits are there, start counting from the right. First three digit count, give a comma. Then after every two digits, you are going to give the commas. But international number system, 
cos 3, comma, then again 3, comma, then again 3, comma. You have to go in, uh, you have to read it out on your own. The comparison written on the screen. The second one I am reading it out for you. 4,58,690, the same it is for international. Coming to the last one, 58 crore, 30 lakh, 16,490, whereas in international it is 500. 83 million 16,490. Uh, 16, the use of commas already I have dealt for international and Indian also have given in that comparison format that after first we visit from the right and then yes. you have to you have to put the commas after every two count. First three count, then after every two places. Examples are there on the screen. After 9, 7, 2, we have put the first comma, then after 6, 5 and 6, and then after 7 and 8. Note on the questions, examples from the screen. Now, students, place value and face value. It's very important. What is the face value of a digit and what is the place value of a digit? The place value never, the face value of any digit is not going to change. For the number, fifty-three crores seventy-two lakh ninety. 1629. If we are going to take the first digit, its face value is only 5. It is not going to change. Its face value is 5 only. But coming to the place value, we will count 1, 10, 100, 1000, 10,000, 10, 000, lakh, 10 lakh, crore, 10 crore. So it is 50 crore. The face value of 5 is 5 only, but the place value is 50 crore. Whereas in this, it is 3 crore. Place value and the face value is same, 3. For 9, its face value is again 9, but its place value will be 1, 10, 100, 1000, 10, 10, 90,000. Like this, many uh, all the place values and the place values of the numbers are there on your screen. Now, assignment for you all is write in the numeral form. Number name is given. You have to fill in the blanks. Uh, note down these questions. You all have to solve these questions as your home assignment. No, that fast. Now, you do have to find the sum of base values of 7. So, it will be having 7 only. Here, the value will be 7 as it is. But here its value is, base value is 700. Whereas here again the value is being changed. So you do have to add all the place values. With 7 plus 70 plus 70 lakh. Like this. Next you have to write it in expanded form. Put the correct commas. I write in international format, insert commas, and compare lakh and billion. It means find out how many lakhs are there in a billion. Thank you, students.